What do we know about what happened yesterday with Antonio Brown's accuser meeting with the NFL? Uh, you know, just that they met. You know, I don't, I don't know that it was ever even reported what time they met. They kept it pretty strictly under wraps. Um, she has managed this ever since she went public um, very well in my mind in a sense that she hasn't done any extra media and she went straight to the league and cooperated with them. And, and that's something that they've had trouble with uh, in the past, trying to get to accusers who um, aren't a part of criminal charges but uh, do have public or reported accusations. Um, they've had difficulty getting a hold of some of these women, but she made herself accessible, and, and I think that you know there won't be any immediate decisions, but um, they're going to sit around and talk about whether or not they found her credible. Sports Illustrated conducted interviews with more than two dozen people who have employed, worked for, coached, or played alongside Brown, some who have taken legal action against him and others who have not. Uh, why no criminal charges uh, against Antonio Brown? So um, a lot of these people say that Antonio Brown owes them, you know, in the hundreds of dollars or the low thousands, you know, 700 bucks, $2,000 owed to a guy he had install a 220 gallon fish tank full of piranhas um, seven hundred dollars for a charity that uh, he stole a painting of himself from uh, allegedly according to all these people and so they're filing small claims in in civil court hoping that these things get resolved because they're suing somebody who's worth 69 million dollars um, i think that you will see eventually criminal charges uh, filed against him in, in any number of these cases if they don't ever come to terms with these people. But I can't imagine that Antonio Brown would let it get to that. Why was he reportedly in the middle of negotiations with this accuser uh, who accused him of rape, sexual assault, that they were trying to settle on something? Why was he settling if he's completely innocent? Well, I, I mean, you know, Innocent people settle in lawsuits all the time. I don't think that's indication that he's, he's definitely guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, but they did have a deal on the table to, to settle for $2 million. And at the last minute, he backed away. You know, I, I think it kind of speaks to this idea that Antonio is a little bit out on an island at this point in his career and his life. You know, we talked to people who were considered mentors who had kept in touch with him um, for his entire NFL career who uh, hadn't spoken to him in months. Um, He's a little bit off the grid right now. And uh, I, I think that his behavior over the last three years um, has to be a, a product of that. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.